Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Hello. Hello, my. Hello, Juan Alfonso. Hello, Mr. Campos. Hello, welcome. teacher. Welcome, welcome. It's time to go to the last class for this course, right? Are you right. ready to rumble? <laughs> okay, now um, we're going to make only the test, only right review. Some of you finished the test, but we're going to make it together to, to review. And let's check some specific point, right? Welcome to Luis Alberto. Welcome to Claudia Castro. Welcome to everybody, right? Everybody. Now, let's share the platform. And let's begin with the show. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the final test, right? Let's start with the listening part. The listening part, right? We're going to see slowly. Okay, I hear a microphone open. Escucho un micrófono abierto. Si nos hace el favor, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, now. Listen to the conversations and select the correct answer, right? Listen to the conversation and se select the correct answer. Now, Catherine has what? How many brothers? Four, seven, or nine, right? These are the options. No, what is that means? Estos días, eh, todavía escucho un micrófono. Si me hacen el favor, no sé que me lo tiene encendido ahí. Porfa, please. Thank you. Thank you. No, what is that means? En estos días, right? En el presente. No, what is? Never say actually. Eh? When you say actualmente, actually. Also, no, it's incorrect, right? So, nowadays, Mark is living where? At home <clears throat> with a friend, with his wife, in the sofa. <laughs> no, in the sofa, no, right? He's at home with a friend or with his wife. <clears throat> now, Sharon. Sharon usually goes to the gym when? On Thursdays, twice a week, three times a week. These are the options, right? Let me check something. This is the final test, right? Okay. Let's continue, right? And some of the men's younger brothers and sisters are where? In the school, have one child, work, work, working abroad. Abroad means in el extranjero, right? In el extranjero, for example, in this case, United States, Australia, England, uh, Argentina, those are abroad, abroad in other country, right? Good. Now we're going to listen to the audio and we're going to practice together, right? Okay. Here we are. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full-time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now. But I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? 
Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes. I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. <laughs> That's for sure. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okie dokie, so we have here the, the listener part, right? He said younger, right? Uh, there is a mistake with the R, so please eliminate the R's. Younger, right? Good. Um, now let me see. Let me see. We are going to, to listen again, right? And this time I will tell you what they say one by one, right? Tell me about your family, Catherine. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters. I have four sisters. Annette, Sarah, Jill, and... Annette, Sarah, Jill, and... Liza. And what? Liza. Liza. Wow, that's great. Wow, that's great, is it? And do you have any brothers? And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers. Yes, I have three brothers. Ed, Mark, and Sam. Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each... And we all eat dinner together. Each night. Each all night. my brothers... And we all eat dinner together, right? Each night. All my brothers... Brothers and sisters and my parents. All my brothers and sisters and my parents. And Firu lives too, including, right? <laughs> How fun. It's oh. like having a party every night. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, I guess it is. Good. So that is the, the conversation one. And then you can see the question, right? Catherine has four brothers and sisters, seven brothers and sisters, or nine brothers and sisters. You can see by the number of sisters and brothers together, right? Now, number two. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full-time for a newspaper. I'm working full-time, full-time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's... Wow, that's, that's interesting. Interesting. Are you still living at home? Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. With Jim. He's an old friend from school. An old friend from school. So you're not married? So you're not married? You're not married? No, not right now. No, not right now. But I am getting married this summer. But I'm getting married this summer. I'm getting married this summer, he said. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. Game over. Getting married, right? <laughs> okay. 
Good. Now uh, we have here number two, right? Nowadays, Mark is living where? At home with a friend or with his wife? One option, right? Now, number three, let's talk about Sharon. Sharon. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? How often? What is the frequency? Right? How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Well, I go jogging twice a week. Oh, really? Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? And do you ever go to the gym? 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 Yes. Yes. I usually go on Mondays. I usually go on Mondays. Wednesdays and... Wednesdays and... And Fridays. And Fridays. Wow, how long do you spend there? Mm. Wow, how long do you spend there? How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each. So around two or three hours each. Each time I go there. Each time I go there. There. Well, you're not a couch potato. Well, you're not a couch potato. A couch potato is someone that only is watching TV and sitting on the couch or, or a sofa, right? The same. That's for sure. That's for sure. So, Shadow usually goes to the gym on Thursdays twice a week or three times a week. Finally, number four. Number four. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here. It says here. It says here. In Australia, mo in Australia mo most married couples have children. Most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids. My parents have two kids. You know, the, the, the accent of the Australian, right? Are really, hey, mate. So from Australia, people from Australia. They're similar from British, but he has a special accent, right? My sister and me. My sister and me. No, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? And they don't live in a home. And they all live at a home, <laughs> living at home, right? So it's living at home. It's Australian accent, right? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school. And some of my younger brothers and sisters are still still in school. Some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school. Living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. A few, she's speaking very fast, wait. Slowly again. Have two kids, my sister and me. In my country. In my country. We have really big families. We have really big families. There are 12 people in my there are 12 people in my, my family. In my family. That's amazing. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? And they are all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers. Well, some of my younger brothers. Brothers and sisters are still in school. And sisters are still in school. They are still in school. Right? And living at home with my. And living at home. Parents. With my parents. A few of us older ones are married. A few of, of older ones. Uh, I'm sorry. Again, again. I don't have that good memory, right? Younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones. Are a few of us older ones. A few of us older ones. Are married with children. Are married with children. Children. 
Are you all living in the same town? Are you all living in the same town? No. No. My two older brothers are My two older brothers single and working abroad. Are single and working abroad. Abroad. But the others live near our parents in the But the others live near the others live near our parents. Our parents. Same town. In the same town. Okay? So that is the, the, the listening, right? And let's go to the, to the question. Some of the men's younger brothers and sisters are in a school, have one child, who are working abroad. Some, a few, some. Look at the difference, right? So you can see the difference between some and a few. And in this case, it's some are in a school, some are have one child or some are working abroad you have to determine the, the quantifier right the correct quantifier right good any question about this part questions <coughs> i'm sorry no okay so let's go to part b complete the conversation right using do, does, or would. Okay, so let's see a little bit about the use of do, does, and would, right? Now listen, please. Normally, we use the auxiliary do and does for the simple present, right? And we use the auxiliary do and does for a negative and questions, right? So we can see this simple present, right? For the simple present in affirmative, we say, um, I, I run every day, for example. I run every day. She speaks Italian, right? So here in this case, I don't need auxiliaries, no auxiliaries, right? But when I make question, when I make negative sentences, I do need to use the auxiliaries do and does, right? So I say, I know you, You don't uh, live in Mexico, let's say, for example. You do not live in Mexico. So I need the, the use of the auxiliary do here, right? Do or negative. I also need to use the auxiliary does, right? When I use the third person singular. She doesn't uh, eat. Mm, pork, oink, oink, pork, right? She doesn't eat pork. These are the, the, the negative, right? So I need the auxiliary do and does. Now in questions, in questions, oh, we have yes, no question, for example, we say, uh, Do they, um, do they, what, do they uh, work, do they work in a factory, fabrica, right, in a factory, and then you can, you can answer this with the same auxiliaries, yes, they do, or no, they don't, right? And still, you need the auxiliary here, right? Uh, in the question and in the answer. Affirmative question, answer, and negative answer. Also, when I use the third person singular, does she uh, 
make cakes. Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Again, I'm using the auxiliary do and does for the simple present, right? And finally, sorry, um, I need to connect the battery for my computer. Okay. Excuse me, now. And then we have uh, information and question. What do you do every weekend, for example? Where do you sleep? And again, I'm using the, the model the auxiliary do and does, right? Uh, or, or why she does her homework too late. Okay, so this is the use of the auxiliary do and does in the simple present. Do in negative, does in negative, right? Do in yes, no question. Does in yes, no question. The same, right? Do in information question. Does in information. That's the use, right? Do you understand? Any question? Okay, now. We're going to uh, check how to use would. Good, right? The model would. In affirmative, I say, I would like to ride a horse. <laughs> ride a horse, right? I would like to ride a horse. She would like to eat pizza. Notice that I don't say she would like. No, it's not necessary, right? In negative, I say we wouldn't. like to drink coke he wouldn't like to play football again right i use the auxiliary plus not the model sorry plus not plus like and something that you like and or you don't like in this case right now, normally we make questions to make invitations, in this case, using would, right? So in questions with would, I say, would you like to go to a party? You can say, do you want to go? Or can you go? Or let's go, right? But when you use wood, it's like more formal, more polite, you see? And then, would you like to go to a party? And then you can answer. Yes, I love to. Oh, yes. Yes, I would. Oh, yes, I like to, right? Or you can answer like this i like to but i have to work
So notice that because it's something polite, we never say, no, I wouldn't. Would you like to go to a party? No, I wouldn't. No, never. Right? You are very ugly. No, no, no. You never say that. You say, I love to. Yes, yes, I love to. But I have to work, right? So these are the way we make questions. Also, you can have information question, but you know, where would you like to eat? Or when would you like to play, for example, right? Okay. So these are information question. And yes, no question. Using would, right? Would. Now, any questions? No questions. It's very clear. Cling. Okay, now let's go to the to the test. Let's go to the test. And it says, complete the sentence with do, does, or would. Okay, for example, number one. Notice that this is an invitation, right? So, as I told you before, what can you use to make an invitation, right? Uh, there are two options, right? Do you like to whatever, right? Or would you like to, and then you say whatever. So in this case, we have two options, right? Do or would. But you don't put any more, only that. Don't put, would you? No, because we already have you here, right? In the sentence, look, it's not necessary. So you can put would or do, right? And ne next one, right? Again, we have you. So for that reason, we're going to use do, not does, right? Or we're going to use would. Hmm? But pay attention that here in number one, we're talking about lie to. Lie to. And a verb, right? Lie to see. So what are you going to use? Would or do? And in this one, the verb is directly. No, you don't say like to, to speak, like to go, like to eat, not only like directly, right? So pay attention. Are you going to use do? Or are going to use, are you going to use would? Hmm? That is the question, right? Number three, what kind of music your friend Ricardo like? Mm -hmm. Your friend Ricardo eats only one. So you're going to use or does or would. Or does or would, right? Pay attention, look. Your friend Ricardo. Okay. Good. This is about do, does, and will, right? Now let's go to the present continuous. The present continuous is other pistol. Other pistol. <laughs> okay, so yesterday we were practicing this, but I will I will repeat this. Listen. Okay. Okay. ¿Cómo va el partido ahí? ¿Quién va ganando? <laughs> Sorry, Seahawks. <laughs> okay, the Seahawks. <laughs> okay, good. So uh, then we have the present continuous. Listen, in the present continuous, we use the verb to be as an auxiliary. Listen, as an auxiliary. It's not the main verb. No es el verbo principal, el verbo to be. The verb to be is only one auxiliary. Present progressive or present. Oh. 
or present continuous. It's the same, right? It's the same. So in affirmative, we are going to use, listen, the subject plus the verb to be plus the verb plus ing. And then you know the complement, right? So I can say, I, what is the verb to be for I? Am, are, or is. Am, are, or is. I are, I is, am. am. Very good. I am. The verb, am. Normally, the verbs like have, need, oops, want, love, hate, are not normally used with the present continuum, right? So in this case, we're going to say uh, use make plus ing, I erase the E and then I copy ing. I am making lunch, for example. I am making lunch. This is the affirmative, right? Ber the subject, the verb to be, the verb make plus ing, right? And then lunch, the company. She, she are, she is, or she am? Mm -hmm. She is. She is, right? What happened? Only Rolando. She is. Only Rolando is answering. Come on. So, she is uh, planning because it's consonant, vowel consonant. We use double N. And then ing planning a party. Ooh, a party, right? She's planning a party. I hope she invites us to the party, right? Okay, so now in negative, we have the same uh, the same format, but the only thing is that we add the word not, right? Plus not. Plus not. The verb plus ing plus complement, right? Okay. Plus now we can say uh, Juan Alfonso. I want to use Juan Alfonso. Ah, Juan, because, <laughs> because of the space. Juan is not. Or you can say isn't, right? In contraction. Um, eating pupusas. I suppose. It's not eating the moment, right? <laughs> so, oh, sorry. I forgot this. It's not eating pupusas. So the verb to be, and then we made the verb to be negative. We say not. The verb eat and then ing, right? Or we can say they. Mm. They are not. Mm, not. Uh, running. Today. Okay, or you can say contraction, right? You can make a contraction here. There are, they aren't running today, right? In contraction. Mm 
Okay? So this is the way we make the negative sentences with the present continuous. Now, let's go to the questions. And I need you to pay attention to the difference between questions and sentences because there is a little confusion here. Let's start with yes, no question, right? Yes, no question say, uh, are you, mm, are you, what, uh, are you designing, designing uh, a building? Yes, I am. And no, I am not, right? Or no, I'm not. You can make contractions too. Contractions. Teacher. Yes. Yes, tell me. Uh, in a question. Mm -hmm. The question sería el, el to be, luego el sujeto, subject, luego el verbo. To be. ¿Verdad? Plus subject. Subject. Plus verb. Plus verb. Plus ing. Plus complement. Plus right? complement. All right. Okay. Okay, good. And then the answer, right? Yes, I am. No, I am not. And in information questions, we have the WH word, the WH word plus verb to be, plus subject, plus verb, plus ing plus complement, right? Okay? And then you say, who is she? Listen, who is she? In this case, you don't say she is. Be careful with this. Don't say, who she is? Who is she? Who is she? So, we change the position of the verb to be. Like here, right? You don't say, are you are, no? You say, are you? We change the position. The same happened with WH question word, right? Who is she? No, who she is. Okay? Who is she um, talking to? Con quien está hablando ella, right? Talking to now. Who is she talking to now? Other example could be where are they? No, they are. Are they, right? Playing they. Okay? Understand? So, bird to be subject. Bear to be subject, right? And then at the beginning, we have the question word. What, where, when, etc., etc., right? Understand? Okay, this is one of the most difficult parts, but I need you to tell me question, please. You ask me, right? If you understand. No questions? I see a few people today. What happened? Maybe I see a few people today. Sorry? Yes? Questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, 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 okay. Excellent. Thank you. Now, so we go to the test. Let's go to the test and check it out, right? How is your sister? Okay. How is your sister? Now, here we have a question. Why is a question? Because we have the question mark at the end, right? Uh, normally, 
we can have a, a you know, a yes, no question or an information question, right? <clears throat> so here, what, what does the logic tell you? ¿Qué es lo que le dice la lógica? ¿Qué es una pregunta de información o the yes, no question? Maybe it's yes, no question because, you know, they are, they are not using what or where. No, no vemos una WH word al, al, al principio. So in this case, uh, sister in this case is a she. Your sister is a she. Normalmente cuando hacemos una pregunta sobre alguien, your sister, your brother, eh, no repetimos, no repetimos. Is your sister, is she, is your sister, is your sister, is your, no, no. So, is your sister, and then, is she, y en la segunda pregunta usamos el she, right? Ok, entonces, aquí supongamos que, que, que en lugar de decir your sister, podría decir um, your brother, your brother, vamos a decirlo así. Para no darle la respuesta, eh, voy a poner como ejemplo your brother, right? Now, because it's a yes, no question, we put first the verb to be. And then we say, is he, recuerden que estamos usando como ejemplo, brother, por eso pongo he, pero ustedes van a poner otra cosa, yes? In he, y luego está el verbo, study, no, bueno, voy a poner otro verbo para que no digan, el teacher le dio la respuesta. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> working, ¿verdad? Is he working? Remember the structure of the yes, no question, right? Verb to be. Subject, subject plus verb plus ing, right? So the same you're going to make here. Lo mismo va a hacer aquí. Okay? Understand? Understand? Oh, eh, hay un micrófono encendido por ahí. Me hacen el favor, please. Uh, por ahí hay otro micrófono. Luis, creo que nos tiene encendido el micrófono. Luis. Hello, Luis. Ahí está ya. Ok, thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Eh, Hoy sí, ¿está mejor el sonido? Yes. Yes, ok, continue, right. So, do you have any question about this? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre esta, esta pregunta? <laughs> Una pregunta. Oh. Esta. <laughs> Ajá, Rolando. I have question. Este, sí, teacher. Es que yo, yo le he contestado así. Ajá, ¿y qué pasa? No le Por eso le digo, y me sale incorrecta. No ah, sé vaya, si vaya. algún compañero ya la, con, la contestó correcta. Vaya, vamos a ver una... si, sí. si hay algún error o hay algún punto, algo que no he tomado en cuenta. Lo que no hicimos ayer, ¿verdad? Vamos a, vamos a hacer una cosa. Voy a dejar de compartir un segundo. Teacher. Yes, yes, le escucho, le escucho. Hábleme en lo que yo reviso aquí. Yo acabo de, de contestarla y sí. me salió clink, como dice usted. Ah, ok, le salió bien. Sí, pero Vaya. en minúscula todo. En minúscula todo, déjeme ver aquí. Desde el inicio. Desde el inicio. Vaya, aquí estoy viendo la respuesta. Déjeme ver si hay algo fuera de lo normal. Eh, sí, así como se los he explicado, aparece aquí la respuesta. Vamos a ver uh -huh, si sí está bien. Sí, sí, definitivamente está bien. Yes. Me sale correcta. Sí, me sale voy correcta. A intentar, voy a intentar ahorita yo, teacher, porque toda la mañana me da duro con esa pregunta. ¿Verdad? Pero es que el problema es que no le puedo decir la respuesta, pero... No, no, yo la pero, tengo, yo la tengo. Va, este... va, pero a mí me aparece así, vaya. Vamos a ver, permítame, voy a hacer algo antes de... Antes de mostrarle la pantalla, permítame. Ok, ahora sí. Estamos ahí, voy a compartir nuevamente la pantalla, let me see. Ok. Vaya, eh, a mí me parece así, va. Con mayúscula primero, ¿verdad? Con mayúscula. A mí, no sé, por ahí me dijeron que ya, ya lo hicieron, pero con minúscula todo. En minúscula. Ajá. A mí me parece con mayúscula, sí. Y me sale buena, no sé. Luego después del is, 
Y ahí ustedes ponen el sujeto. Pero vaya, no pongan your sister. No vayan a poner your sister. Pongan no. el, el pronombre para your sister. No me van a decir cuál es. El pronombre para your sister. Y después el verbo. Pero el verbo no le van a agregar. Eh, por ejemplo, en el verbo cry. No me le van a borrar cry. Le van a poner así, ¿verdad? No, la I griega no se, no se borra. Solo se le agrega ING. ¿Sí? Así tendría que ser. Rolando, ya lo, ya lo probó así. Ahorita voy a probarlo, Tisha. Va, dele, dele. En todo eso vamos a seguir con la otra. Listen. Letter D. She no she She. Y aquí ya me está dando una afirmativa, ¿sí? Pero aquí no van a repetir chi, ¿verdad? No van a poner chi, bla, 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 bla. No, no. El chi no se pone. Solo van a poner el verbo to be. ¿Verdad? Correspondiente a she. El verbo que aparece en paréntesis. Y a ese verbo le van a agregar ing. Supongamos que yo haya puesto aquí. Eh, um, Pedro. Pedro is. Y van a poner el verbo to be. Y el verbo. Voy a poner yo play, ¿verdad? Y luego le agregan ing. Así de sencillo es. ¿Sí? Obviamente no es play, ¿verdad? Es, es otro el verbo, pero ustedes lo van a poner así. ¿Ok? Good. Luego tengo una pregunta, ¿sí? La estructura de la, de la pregunta de The Information Question es WH Word. El verbo to be. ¿Qué pasó, Rolando? En minúscula no, no me sale mal. Y en, y pon, no, pero es que, es que Rolando, tiene Ajá. que poner la primera, la primera en mayúscula y las demás en minúscula. No, no así como decía el compañero, eh, que le había hecho todo en minúscula. Ah, lo, usted lo hizo todo en minúscula. No, el compañero, compañero que comentaba ahí. Que le salió correcta, todo lo hizo en minúscula, dice. Sí, ¿y usted? Ahorita lo estoy haciendo así, <risa> pero en, min en minúscula me sale mal. Pero no este, será... Yo acabo de enviar una captura al grupo Ajá. de WhatsApp, acabo de ver una captura donde sale bien, tal vez eso le ayude, Rolando. Ok, gracias. Ah, pero no nos mandaron la respuesta, ¿verdad? No. <risa> Es que si no, ya, ya me van a reañar de la oficina. <risa> Vaya, sola, véalo no, rápido. Teacher, ahorita estoy, no, ahorita estoy probando aquí. Ya. Vaya, eh, véalo rápido, Rolando, y después lo borra eh, Claudia, por favor, para que no, <risa> no nos vayan a reañar va, con las respuestas. Que estamos dando la respuesta del examen. <risa> ¿Ok? Sí, así como lo contestó eh, Claudia, así, así me sale a mí también. Bueno, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé. Rolando, quizás un punto le pone usted o algo, no sé. No sé cómo explicarlo. Algo, sí, sí el, algo está mal porque está bien difícil. O quizás ya va a ser necesario un cambio de computadora con el Black Friday, ¿verdad? <risa> sí. Ok, muy bien, pero este ya le dimos por todos lados, Rolando, quizás viendo la respuesta directa, ¿verdad? Ahí. ¿Verdad? Con usted ahí podemos llegar a un acuerdo. <ríe> Muy bien. Este, Claudia, disculpe, me borró el mensaje. Sí. Sí, lo borró, sí, Ticho. Ok, gracias. gracias. Thank you, lo thank borré. You. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <ríe> si no, me van a dar las orejas ahí, va. <ríe> me van a dar las orejas. <ríe> Good, so let's continue, right? But let it be, Rolando, no problem. We let it be. Aquí no le dio problema, Rolando, en la, en la parte de. Permítame. Permítame, Tish. Ok, este es fácil, lo del afirmativo, ¿verdad? ¿Yes? No, es que fíjese que no lo he completado porque no puede ser que pase sin, que me pase a la segunda sin la primera. Vaya, pero va a, va a llegar al 99% si no contesta esa. <risa> pero no, no puede ser. Pero Rolando, yo le envié ahí una... Un tip, teacher, exacto. Teacher, así como usted me lo envió, eso es lo raro, teacher. Qué raro. Como usted ¿verdad? me lo demás... envió, lo he, lo he escrito de ocho maneras. Bien raro, porque no los demás lo, compañeros. No lo agarra. ¿Verdad? Ahí está. Sí, ahí. Lo, ah. 
sí vi la respuesta de la compañera y aún Cambio. así me sale mal. Cambie el, la marca del café, creo que es lo que estaba faltando ahí. <ríe> sí. Ok. Sí, ah, ok, good. Now, WH word, listen, number two, right? WH word plus bear to be, right? Plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement, right? Esa es la fórmula. ¿Ok? El WH word ya está aquí, ¿verdad? El who. Ya está. Entonces solo nos va a faltar el verbo to be. El subject. Como es David. Ya saben cuál es el pronombre para David, ¿verdad? Y el verbo está aquí en paréntesis. Solo le van a agregar ing. Y el complemento son la proposición for. ¿Sí? Entonces, lo único que van a hacer ustedes es poner el verbo to be, el sujeto y el verbo más ing, right? Ahí estamos bien, Rolando. Yes, ok. Y lo, los demás, los demás, por favor, díganme si han tenido problemas con esta parte. No, teacher. No, ok. No, no teacher. No. Yo creo que a Rolando le va a dar dolor de cabeza porque <ríe> el que más le ha costado y aún no, y aún no lo ha logrado. <ríe> ok, now. And the last one is, a, in a, is an affirmative, right? So in affirmative, we use the verb to be plus the verb, in this case, come. Remember to eliminate the E, right? Eliminate the E and then add ING. Todos los verbos que terminen en L, vamos a borrar la E y luego agregamos ING, ok? So, any question? Good. Now let's continue, please. Multiple choice, right? Aquí está fácil porque solo de agarrar el correcto. Right? J does... Let me see. No hay una reading ni nada, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, does yoga, football, or jogging? Este es... Eh, una un ejercicio donde usamos principalmente tres verbos usamos el verbo go do y play Vaya, en Go generalmente eh, utilizamos actividades que van ah, con ING. Por ejemplo, I go swimming. I go swimming. ¿Ok? Para el do son actividades especiales, ¿verdad? Special activities. No les puedo decir cuál porque les daría la respuesta. Y en play son sports, deporte, generalmente donde hay una pelota, ¿sí? Generalmente donde hay una sport, pelota. Ok, con go, actividades con ING. Con do, algunas actividades especiales. Eh, no sé si aquí aparece karate, para darlo como ejemplo. Espero que no, que no aparezca karate, pero, por ejemplo, do karate. No, no aparece. No aparece, ok. Este es un ejemplo, do karate. No. You don't say, go karate o, o play karate. No, 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 you don't say that. It's do karate. ¿Ok? Entonces, actividades como esas, eh, vamos a usar do. Y actividades como swimming, playing y todo eso, eh, vamos a usar go. Y los deportes, ¿verdad? Generalmente los deportes de contacto y con, que hay un balón, pues usamos play. ¿Ok? Vamos entonces a la plataforma. Y aquí vamos a escoger uno de los verbos. Aquí está bien, es Ever. Ah, no, perdón, el uno. Eh, das, aquí está el das. Entonces, usamos el do, ¿verdad? Entonces, do qué? 
fútbol, jogging, aquí está jogging con NG, ¿verdad? Y fútbol, que es un deporte y, y yoga, bueno, ya saben, ¿verdad? Ok, y aquí, how often do you go, do, or play? Aquí está el ING, ¿ve? Ahí está la clave, ING. Play. Ay, está, play. Ya les dije yo cuáles se ponen en play, ¿verdad? Ok. Any question? Ese está regalado, ¿verdad? And finally, the reading. Ok. Audrey Tattoo, right? Esa es una actriz famosa. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Que tiene fans alrededor del mundo, dice. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. Algunas cosas interesantes sobre la vida de Audrey y su carrera, ¿verdad? 1978. Audrey is born in Beaumont, France. Nació en Francia en 1978, right? Entre los 80 y los 90, she acts in plays, especially comedies. Actuó en, en algunas obras de teatro, especial, de teatro, especialmente comedia, right? En high school, cuando era bachillerato, estaba estudiando bachillerato. After she goes to acting school, right? Entonces fue a la escuela de, de actuación, she wins the prize, best newcomer, right? En la, un premio como la mejor novata, ¿verdad? Para, eso lo hizo porque estaba actuando en la televisión francesa en 1999, right? 2000 to 2002, right? En esos años eh, actuó en muchas películas, right? Incluyendo Bouillus Bouillel, 2000, right? Ahí ella actúa como una mujer joven llamada Emily, ¿verdad? No, perdón, este es de otra película. En la película eh, Emily, ella actúa como Amelie, ¿verdad? En el 2001, ¿verdad? Ok, y luego dice que este film es un film francés, ¿verdad? Eh, y que es un, un éxito internacional. Que hasta en Santa Ana y San Miguel pasaron a película, pero bueno, yo no la vi. Luego, Audrey becomes popular in many countries, ¿verdad? Right? Including the United States. Se hizo popular en Estados Unidos, incluyendo. Y ella actuó, ¿verdad? En una película que se llamó God is great, I'm not. Dios es bueno, yo no. Eso es la película, no creo que esté hablando de mí, ¿verdad? La película. Audrey has a big year en 2003, ¿verdad? Ella actuó en la película The Spanish Apartment. En, y otra que se llamaba He Loves Me. He Loves Me, Not. She also acts in dirty, pretty things. Cosas sucias y bonitas. Ok, no sé a qué se refiere la película, pero así se llama. This is the first time she speak English in a movie. En esta película, es la primera película eh, in, en inglés. Las demás, todas las obras y todo eso eran eh, en francés, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí van a escoger una opción. In high school, y nos vamos a high school, aquí está, de high school. ¿Qué hizo ella? Ella actuó en, en, en obras de teatro, en televisión o en películas. Ahí está la respuesta. No les voy a dar, pero ahí está. Entre 1980 y 1990. Luego, Many American Like the Movie. ¿Cuál película le gustó a, 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 a los de Estados Unidos? ¿Verdad? Ahí están las tres películas. Escójamela ahí la película y vean donde dice que a, a los americanos les gustó. Y Audrey actuó en tres películas, ¿right? ¿En qué año? Ahí menciona tres películas, no le voy a decir el nombre, pero ya, ahí aparecen las tres. Y dice el año, ¿verdad? Sí, no le voy a decir porque ahí están las tres películas. Y por último... ¿Cómo se llama la película donde habla inglés? She speak English. No, no, Rolando, no es Los Verduleros 3, no, esa no. Es otra película, sí. Ok, aquí aparece el nombre. Si es que ahí le vi unas películas que ahí, eso, <ríe> son bromas, Rolando. <ríe> no son bromas, ok, ok, good. Now, do you understand class? 
Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Les agradezco muchísimo por haber estado conmigo. Es un placer por segunda vez haber estado con ustedes en un curso, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé si el otro curso voy a estar con ustedes, ¿verdad? Pero si, si es así, sería para mí un privilegio eh, seguir ayudándoles. Como me dicen en un grupo, me dicen el coach, me dicen, me siento bien, bien elevado, ¿verdad? Pero, pero seguir siendo su maestro, ¿verdad? Eh, para ayudarles en completar la plataforma y sigamos obteniendo estos logros, ¿verdad? Eh, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Mucho por usted. Muchas gracias. You're welcome. You're welcome. Un placer, ¿verdad? Bendiciones y. Thank you. Ahí siempre estamos a sus órdenes, inglés corporativo, ¿ok? Bye bye. ¿Cómo se dice bendiciones en inglés? Blessings. Blessings. Uh, Blessings. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.